my channel so today i'm actually posting on a friday i got my shit together yes girl we need to talk okay we need to have a discussion about this because this just caught me off guard and it's just nasty on a whole other level so i need to talk to my glamazons about it because i don't even know what to do with this info so we're gonna get into the story about um this man wanting to pay me a lot of money for some uh very different shit so if you guys would like to know about the story and what i have been offered by this strange unknown man please keep on watching a side note i have cut my hair recently but like not a lot hold on it's still like down to my waist but when it's curly it looks shorter because you know shrinkage girl so if you guys are wondering because I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions and I haven't worn my hair curly in forever yes this is my natural hair um yes I will do an updated curly hair routine no I did not cut a shit ton off of my hair it just looks like that. Some people like in my house, like my family, they were like, did you just cut like a shit ton of your hair off? And I was like, no, like it's still here. Anyways, before we get into this video, as per you, today's glamour shot of the day is my girl, Janelle. Janelle, can you tell me why we look like we're sisters from another mister? Can you tell me? Because you genuinely look like my little sister. Thank you so much for sending me your beautiful glamour shot. You guys make my day. Every time I go on Instagram and Twitter and look up that hashtag glamazon show, Shot, I get to see all of your faces and to know that you guys know who little old me is like it's just crazy and it really just humbles me every time I see it so if you guys aren't aware of how to submit your glamour shot that's how you do it you can either do it on Instagram or on Twitter because I know not everybody has both but you use hashtag glamazon shot I would use glamour shot but actually people like that are doing the Sears and JCPenney glamour shots are taking that hashtag so us glamazons together we decided on the hashtag glamazon shot so definitely use that hashtag and then your girl will see it and you have a chance to be featured in one of my videos thank you so much for all of y'all's love and support you guys honestly carry me through and i know that i would not be here without you and i could not do this without each and every one of you guys so thank you from the bottom of my heart let's get into this really weird questionable story time all right so honestly i actually had another story time in my for today but see what ha happened was I was checking my emails because I am currently working on an ass Nikki I hear you guys I know you guys are looking for another ass Nikki and here's the thing I'm taking so long because I am starting to answer some more serious more personal questions and more than anything I don't want to offend you guys you know so I feel like I need to really think out my answers because I take my place here on YouTube and with you guys a part of y'all's life very very seriously and I'm not trying to give you guys like terrible advice like y'all follow it and then y'all are mad at me you know what I'm saying but anyways while I was checking my ass Nikki emails I came across this email that I have received more than once okay now this has actually been going on for about two three years and I've received emails like this but I've always just kind of like looked past them deleted them like whatever here's the thing okay a lot of people a lot of people nowadays get very offended and sometimes it's not even intentional like I I'm never the type of person to like purposely want to offend you so if this video offends you I'm so sorry I just need you to understand the circumstances surrounding the situation because I am not by any means asking for this type of attention for these types of emails I am not in the business of doing this type of shit so for somebody to come out the woodwork and ask something from me that is just out of the norm of course it's going to catch me off guard but if this is something that you particularly are into and you are offended by my thoughts on it I'm sorry I'm just saying it's different um, I'm not well educated on it, but from what I do know, I feel like it's very unhealthy, unsanitary, and just unsafe altogether. So logically, you guys know that I try to think about things logically, and logically this shit just is weird. It's just weird. So I don't know how else to say it, so we're just going to get right into it, okay? So I have never ever marketed myself as like a fetish person. I've never been a part of like 
anything like that. So the fact that I'm receiving these types of emails and this type of correspondence is a little bit odd. So that's why I'm making a video about this, okay? Now, about three years ago, I received my first ever like fetish request. It caught me off guard, number one, but number two, I was just like really like intrigued and when I don't understand something or understand like the culture or the background about something, I become very intrigued with it because I always want to learn. So I received like emails from different strangers that asked me to do things for them and that they're willing to pay me for. And it's really different and odd. So about three years ago, I got my first fetish request. That's so weird for me to say. Even though I don't ask for it, even though I'm not in that industry, even though like you guys, when's the, when is the last time that you guys even saw me in a low cut shirt? Can you tell me? Because I don't even market myself that way. It's just not the way that I am. I'm just very weird about shit like that. So like, you know, excuse me, but I've always tried to figure out like why do these people try to contact me of all people that I don't like if you look on my Instagram you look on my Twitter you don't really see a whole lot of like provocative pictures and there's nothing wrong with it absolutely nothing what I'm saying girl is I don't really have the makings of provocative pictures you know what I'm saying I'm not trying to look like a young man when I'm taking these pictures so I always wear you know loose fitted shirts and like t-shirts and like I'll wear some cute little shorts my legs are like my best feature I feel like you know if I wear some cute little shorts I don't have to show my stomach or like my boobs or anything I don't know it's just not my jam so anyways that's where my confusion was coming from in the beginning. So about three years ago, I started receiving here and there like some fetish requests on my emails. One of them asked me to dress up like a baby. One of them asked me to dress up like a schoolgirl. So like different people have different requests and like whatever, right? And I read up about this. Actually, Shane Dawson did a video about people that have like the fetishes for babies or whatever. I watched that video and I got educated on that side of people's fetish world, right? I thought they were really weird and some of them were kind of weird, some of them weren't, some of them were just different. Um, and I always like ignored and deleted, like ignored and deleted. The minute that I saw that it was even headed that way, obviously that's not what I do here on my, oh, my curls trying to attack me, girl. I've always questioned why, why do these people reach out to me with these types of requests, right? So. Um, up until this point, the strangest request that I've ever received, in my opinion, was this guy wanted me to shave my legs. <laughs> this guy wanted me to legit shave my legs on camera and videotape it and then just send it to him and he was willing to pay me. Um, and I saw that email and I was like, mm, no, like I'm not, that's, I, no, like my, the shaving of my legs is meant to be done in private. Like I'm not trying to have nobody there for that mess. So I went through my Ask Nikki email as I was telling you guys and I was going through there to see what you guys were emailing me to respond to some of your emails and I came across an email from an email address that I'm very familiar with. This person has emailed me at least over five times. Like I've seen them, I have deleted their requests before. I would say within the past two years, they've gotten a hold of me between four to five times. So I saw this email address and I saw the subject line and I was like, dude, like you obviously aren't getting the picture. I'm not responding to you. Like I don't do this kind of stuff. Every situation that I'm involved in, I always try to enter it with an open mind. But girl, this is something that like my mind can't open to it. Like it just makes no sense to me. So today's story time is going to be about the weirdest email that I've ever received that a guy is offering me a shit ton of money to do some shit, okay? And we are going to discuss it and have a combo about it and you guys tell me your feelings. I'm definitely gonna tell you my feelings, but like I said in the beginning of this video, if this is something that you're into, you do you, okay? But it's not something that I'm into, it's not something that I'm comfortable with, it's not something that I understand for a lot of reasons and a lot of which are scientific and logical reasons that I just don't understand. So um, please don't get offended. I'm just putting that out there. Please do not get offended. And I'm not going to tell you guys who it's coming from. I don't want you guys harassing this man. 
but I am going to be reading this email, okay? So we are going to call him Ted, okay? So I'm going to change his name because he does put his name in the email, and I'm going to change his name to Ted, okay? Greetings, Nikki. I'm Ted, 50 and single. I came across your Instagram page. You are lovely, beautiful, and gorgeous. Okay. First of all, thank you for the compliments, okay? Like, that was amazing compliments. Three compliments within the first, like, two sentences. Lovely, beautiful, and gorgeous. Thank you! Thank you so much because I feel like my Instagram needs a lot of work. I have a mutually beneficial proposal for your consideration. I wish I could meet with you for a brief fetish session. And I will for sure be generous and compensate you for your time. I would like to schedule a 15 to 30 minute appointment with you on any one of these days. So he gave me the days between August 22nd and August 28th. I'm not looking for anything sexual. Due to the nature of this session, this will strictly be fetish only. Nothing sexual and nothing physical. We don't even have to kiss or touch each other. I have a toilet fetish. I would like to drink your golden shower. Ted, what? What the fuck you mean? Golden shower. What do you mean? You mean my pee? I would like to drink your golden shower nectar. I'm sorry. Your golden shower nectar. And I also wish to taste your scat caviar. Scat caviar, okay? Obviously, golden shower is pee. Like, everybody knows that what uh, R. Kelly was doing to them young girls, it was called a golden shower, right? I didn't know what scat caviar was. But, of course, Ted, being the homie that he is, later explains in the email. Would you be willing to pee and poop in the toilet? And then in parentheses, he puts porcelain bowl. Take as much time as you like and you will have your privacy while doing it. I have no problem waiting outside in the lobby while you are using the toilet in the bathroom if you think you would feel comfortable that way. Once you are done using the toilet, make sure not, he capitalized not, to flush the content down and just leave your poo slash pee as it is and let it remain there. After you finished, I would then visit the bathroom, get inside, and would love to drink your pee and eat your scat right from the toilet bowl. Although I would love to have you stay for a couple of minutes and watch me wine and dine your toilet treats, you could as well leave the hotel once you are done using the toilet if you would prefer that. I don't mind it. I'm fine with whatever works for you. I'm not expecting anything else from you. I just wish I could drink your pee and eat your scat. So scat is another word for shit. I would happily compensate your time with a minimum donation a donation, okay, of $1,000 up to $1,500. I would love to make this an ongoing arrangement on a long-term regular basis. How about once or twice a month, if and when possible? If you think any of your girlfriends too would be interested, then I would be glad to double the donation and pay for your friends as well. Let me know your thoughts. Looking forward to it, Ted. Ted, Ted, let me talk to you for a little bit, just for a second, homie. Like, let me have a combo with you, okay? Because I just feel like most fetishes are that person's business. Like, don't even worry about it. It ain't none of your business. People are into what they're into. However, when it comes to this type of shit, no pun intended. Your body is legit getting rid of the toxins that it cannot utilize and getting rid of it as bowel movements when you shit, okay? And you're telling me that you are going to eat my shit. I just, I want to know... Like, what do I, what do I say? What do I think? Like, how do I feel? That is literal feces. That is human feces and urine. And it just, 
Oh my god! Obviously, this man has made these types of plans before, and it's very apparent considering the fact that he already knows the process. He knows what women usually will and won't be like comfortable with. Like, if you want me to go to the lobby while you do your business, I will do that. If you want to watch me, we can do that too. And so he's obviously been through the motions of eating some girls' pee and shit, you guys. And, um... Like I said, I've received so many emails about stuff like this and I don't know why because I feel like if you guys look at my Instagram like really I'm not like the most holy person like I'm not better than anybody by any means I'm just more embarrassed and I have a very very crazy mother that even to this day okay I'm 25 years old even to this day if I even show a little bit of my stomach my brother and my mom are like on my ass like um you need to put your clothes on um no like you need to take that picture down wow like I mean just sit there and think about it though like if you're paying somebody like imagine paying a stranger a thousand dollars and they pee and they shit in your toilet and then you fucking go to that toilet and you put a napkin around your neck and you go in with a fucking fork and knife and you start You start eating it and drinking it. Cause it a golden shower and a scat caviar. Like it really is some kind of dish. And it's not though. Like it's so... Like the fact that I could honestly, if I really wanted to, make my car payment by peeing and shitting in this man's toilet is so beyond me. Like, but... I just, I don't know, like I wanted to share this with you guys because like maybe I'm just very ignorant on this topic. I'm willing to admit if I'm ignorant on a certain topic, ignorance means that you don't have any background information on the topic at hand and I don't, I don't know. So basically you guys, there is a man that has seen my photos that has decided within his mind and in his heart girl that he would be fine eating and drinking like but I want to know how many of you guys would actually do it how many of you guys would go out and pee and shit in this man's toilet and get paid cash on the spot girl this is so nasty in itself but also it's just really dangerous like you can get really really bad infections you can get really bad bacterial infections like disease whatever that person has and so with this type of fetish, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't have any knowledge about it but from what I know from a logical standpoint and like medically, it just doesn't seem sanitary, okay? It, it seems like the least from sanitary. Would you guys be down for that? And like, don't lie, I have no judgment here. Do not judge anybody. I don't, I personally have an issue with it, but that doesn't mean that you should. I just want to know, like, am I just being too judgy? Am I just being judgy? Because I never want to come off judgy. You know what I'm saying? Like, if there's anything I hate, is when people judge shit that they don't understand, you know? But, like, this is like a little, uh, this is like a little out of my realm of understanding, okay? So that is it, you guys. I know that this wasn't, like, a super intense story time, but I wanted to open up the dialogue of communication for you guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys like more story times and like videos like this about my emails that I received give this video a thumbs up to let me know it helps me out a lot also if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel you are missing out please do not forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting that big red button down below to be notified of each time I upload a video here on my channel also don't forget to follow me on all of my social media I will leave all of that info down in the description box below for you guys as well as in my outro please don't forget Forget to do that that's where I love to stay connected with you guys talk to you guys do polls and questions and stuff so please don't forget to do that I love you guys happy Friday I hope you guys have an amazing beautiful weekend and I will see you guys in my next video peace out